Hey guys, thanks Media Girl here. So I have been doing a tree ring series where I did a square and then a triangle and then a star. And I'm gonna do the next one in the series, which is going to be a heart. I am gonna be using one of my split cups and I make these myself and sell them in my Etsy store, link in the description. I'm gonna be using a ton of really fun colors for this, bright colors. So some, this is like a, actually a neon purple. And I'm gonna be using some warm and cool colors. Uh, mainly purples and greens. I do have some, this color right here is called Moody Blue. And it's like a metallic navy blue. It's super pretty from the Porage Posse. And all materials will be listed in the description. Here's a bit of Artist Loft Yellow. And then this is like a sparkly metallic blue from Arteza. And go in here with a little more of the purple. You want to throw some red in there, why not? And I'm just going to keep going through these until my cup is full. Okay, my cup is full. I threw a few other fun colors in there. So here goes nothing. Okay, that's the best I got. It is not easy to do the same shape over and over in the same spot and not move around, not make it sloppy. It's it's hard. So I did my best there. All right, and now we tilt and try to maintain this pattern as best as possible, which is going to be really interesting with this one. The square and the triangle were fairly easy. Star was a little more difficult, and this one seems like it will probably be the most difficult. If we don't end up with a heart in the end, that is okay. It will still create a uniqueness. I can already see right here, it created a uniqueness just because it goes up and down and kind of overlaps in a fun way. Now, as far as I recall, this is the last shape in this series. So if I'm incorrect, if I forgot about one, let me know. Or if there's any other shape suggestions. So obviously a tree ring basically is generally a circle. So we've already done that one. Got the square, got the triangle, star, and now a heart. Okay, <laughs> it 
So as I suspected, that one was pretty difficult to maintain. You can kind of still see it in the middle there. Uh, but definitely not as much as before. I'm still really happy with this though. And I, I love that pattern that it created. The colors didn't quite come out how they were going to be in my head. <laughs> I think I used a little bit too much white, but that's okay. I'm in love with these colors over here. This was kind of more what I was going for overall, but a little, little overdid on the white. I'm going to let this sit here for a little bit. We'll see if anything changes or develops, and then I'll bring you all in for a close-up. All right, I hope some people don't hate me for this, but I've decided to take the back of my brush and kind of see if I can put this heart back in a little bit more. Just right here. There we go. Ooh, yay. Okay, <laughs> I'm really happy with that now. All right, let's go ahead and do our close-up. I started in the lower right hand corner here and this is what I was really going for with the colors before that white kind of took over over here. I still really love this on its own though. I think that's beautiful. And there is my little heart back in there. And these colors down here are really pretty too. That blue with the yellow. So there you guys have it. A heart tree ring let me know what you guys think let me know if there are any other shapes that I <laughs> forgot about or that you would like me to try and I will see you all next time